because we were passionate about this matter being raised above political party colors. There was no consultation. It's a classic case of sabotage. And it must be rejected with respect, Honorable Chair. Please rule in the interest of the rules of the House, in the interest of the decorum. If you rule in favor of this motion, you are rendering Parliament useless. Uh, thank you, Chair. The issue on the table is about the amendments, and as Bold One is saying, we oppose the amendments. The setup. ATM. Thank you, Chair. Chair, the issue of um, extortion is not a new thing in our country. It is something that has been prevalent for the longest time, and the C Committee on Police has been seized with it, but without any tangible results. So we as the ATM are saying that let us stick to the original motion so that we get a specific committee that we get a committee that will deal specifically with the issue. This is not about the numbers, but it is about the substance of the focus of the ad hoc committee. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, the Al Jama party. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, this is not an easy solution. Because we know that extortion and the situation is dire in our country at this stage. But currently we have got a portfolio committee on police with members of several political parties, which I would believe we would trust to do the oversight and their job. What we are asking now is, do we follow the amendment and let the portfolio committee on police take on this mandate or do we go with the initial resolution but we are already overstretched it's easy to say release members from the political party that they don't do certain work as i heard the honorable julius malema indicate but that is not always a possibility in your smaller parties and that is our reality at this point i'm going to support that the, the portfolio committee of police continue to fulfill their role on oversight. I thank you. Thank you. The NCC. Thank you, Chair. Chairperson, I serve on this committee, and extortion is rife where I live and where I work. We must accept this motion in the, in the spirit that it is brought. It is brought, Chair, to bring a focus on extortion. That's all. We must be honest with ourselves and say, that in the city of Cape Town, the DA has so much to hide that they would be against this motion, and today's arrest will prove it. The PAC. Order, honorable members. Order. The PAC. Honorable members. Honorable members. The UAT. Thank you, Chairperson. Order, honorable uh, members. There's a battle here. Honorable members, I want to listen to the member of the UAT. Please Mambo. do not distract him. No, no, no. Kari Mambo, Chair. I, I, I have to report that uh, four police officials just been arrested in the last hour in Devon, involvement in extortion now. So this matter is agent. And the public is looking at us in our reaction. So we support the original draft. Thank you. Good. Is there a declaration from Good? The ANC? Thank you, House Chair. As the ANC, we start by reiterating that a call for Parliament to investigate the crime of extortion can only be welcomed if we appreciate that the Portfolio Committee on Police is better placed to look into the matters of extortion and make a determination on what is the next course of action. The proposed amendment by the DA agrees with our position, and we would support it. House Chair, in our debate, in our debate on the motion, we emphasize the efforts that government is taking to fight the crime of extortion and crime in general, such as strengthening the coordination of the work of the Justice Crime Prevention and Security Cluster to fight crime. On the day of the debate, House Chair, the JCPS cluster of cabinet was meeting to look into the matter of strengthening their coordination and collaboration. We also know that government has made interventions to strengthen the intelligence community to ensure our fight against crime is strengthened through intelligence-driven interventions. We also note the collaboration agreements that are undertaken by government 
through the police department to ensure the working relationship between the police and the metro police to fight crime. These initiatives are to be rolled out to provinces in our country. These measures, therefore, say to us, we will be inconsistent with the facts if we argue that the state is failing to deal with crime. The facts are pointing that the state is doing its effort to deal with crime. Therefore, House Chair, oversight by the PC on police will further strengthen these actions. I thank you. Thank you, Honourable Member. Honourable Members, yes, Honourable Mdlozi. House Chair, I ask you to rule in terms of Rule 121, Subsection 2, in relation to this uh, amendment. The rule says when amendment is moved as provided in sub rule one, a signed copy of the proposed amendment must be delivered to the secretary at the table without delay. I submit to the house chair that this amendment was an ambush, not done in keeping with parliamentary decorum and specifically this particular rule. And it came at this hour to cause confusion in our country on a very important matter. It seeks to place a blanket and conceal a serious matter here, particularly in the Western Cape and Cape Town. You must rule it out of order, Chair, in terms of the rules. That you are empowered as the chairperson to reject this amendment because it came uh, without complying with 121 sub 2. Thank you. It was an ambush. And it's not parliamentary. Honorable members, I but on, a point, receive... on, a, on a point of order, Chair. Yes, Honorable Malema. Before you but... before you continue, I must indicate that I received the amendment when the member moved it. It was checked by the secretary or the uh, the secretary available in the house, and the amendment was then subsequently um, res uh, not resolutions the. There were declarations made by the different political parties on it. So the amendment to that motion is in front of us. Honorable Malema? No, no, on a point of order, Chair. We were ambushed with the motion. We, we were given the motion uh, while the person who's proposing the amendment to the motion was already speaking to the amendment of the motion. And uh, the rule just simply says you can't. In, the, in, in its spirit, it says you cannot ambush people. And, and expect us to make substantive inputs on something that is just presented before us here. But on a different point, Chair, the amendment seeks to change the whole resolution. What is the point of having a, a debate on something that we are saying ad hoc committee? And the simple way is to go to the motion and then defeat it, not to introduce something that fundamentally changes the possible resolution on the motion that is presented before the House. We must not allow that degeneration. We must be very clear that it cannot be correct to amend and change the possible resolution of a motion presented before the House. The ANC, we understand where they come from. There is a huge allegation in KZN that the ANC is a beneficiary of the motion. You have made your point. Honorable members, as a member of the, who attend the Chief Whoops Forum regularly and other members, and maybe it's something that we need to emphasize as well between the different political parties, is that whether you agree or not on something, is that you use the mechanisms inside that forum to talk to one another and, and discuss and discuss things with one another. So you, you did speak to them on the Mdlozi. You did speak to them, so there was a matter, some consultation or discussion taking place. Now, you see, now that means that the amendment that's in front of us must now be decided upon. I wanted to say, before you, Honorable Mentor, and those members who have been here from the Sixth Parliament will agree, that it's always collegial to inform one another that this is what is, but you said now you discussed it with them. So if you discussed it, that you will inform them. So whatever discussion took place there, whether you agreed with it or not, we expect as the presiding officers that that collegiality is there, that you discuss things with one another, so that when it comes to the House, that everybody is on the same page. We don't want anybody to be ambushed. 
That is not the idea. But since you, Honorable Mundlazi, indicated that you did speak to them, then it means that there were discussions amongst you. Honorable Mundlazi? No, House Chair, with respect, the, the, this is a classic case of sabotage. More than ambush. The Honorable Members of the DA never consulted anyone. They never consulted anyone. They brought this motion, read it, spoke to it. Then you gave us the copies after. The motion that was consulted upon is the original motion, of which they had no view on. They never got back to us. So I'm saying to you, we even asked, do you want to make amendments? Because we were passionate about this matter being raised above political party colors. There was no consultation. It's a classic case of sabotage. And it must be rejected with respect, Honorable Chair. Please rule in the interest of the rules of the House, in the interest of the decorum. If you rule in favor of this motion, you are rendering Parliament useless. It's a circus. It means we can just come and play cards over serious matters of our people. We should have applied our minds Thank you, Honorable to this motion. Honorable members, amendment. thank you very much. Honorable members, Honorable members, I've consulted with the table staff here, and it is my inclination that I will allow the decision on the amendment to stand over, to allow for consultation, proper consultation between the political parties, and we will bring it back to the House tomorrow immediately after the question session. Thank you. Honourable Members, we now come to motions without notice. Does any member of the ANC wish to give a motion without notice? The ANC. Thank you, Honourable Chair. The African National Congress. Order, order Honourable Members, will those members who are leaving do so quietly and the others who remain in the chamber, can you also just quiet down, please? Thank you. The ANC. Thank, thank you, Honorable Chair. The ANC moves without notice that the House notes that Tourism Month is celebrated annually in September to promote domestic travel, showcase the country's diverse tourism offerings, and to highlight the sector's significant contribution to the African economy. Further notes that the theme for Tourism Month this year is Tourism and Peace, 30 years of connecting pe people to places and cultures. Believes that Tourism Month festivities are held throughout the country to highlight a plethora of tourism offerings in our nine provinces. Understand that World Tourism Day is celebrated globally on the 27th of September as declared by UN Tourism, and the day affords the global tourism community an opportunity to reflect and commemorate its milestone in relation to the fulfillment, fulfillment of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Invites all South Africans to participate in the month-long celebration and to gain a better understanding of the affordable, exciting, and world-class attractions that are available on our doorstep. Thank you. Honourable Members, if there are no objections, I put the motion. No objections agreed to. Welcome to RT Select Times. That's it for now, guys, and thank you so much for watching this video. And please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.